There is no video I like more than when girlies do a full Chanel collection tour or my entire Louis Vuitton collection. Well, I don't have any of that, okay? I carry a fanny pack. But in today's video, we're going to do a full vessel tour. I'm giving you a tour of all of the vases in my home. And you're gonna be like, what is wrong with this lady? But before we get into today's video, smash that subscribe button. But let's start walking around my home. Now, if you know me, if you follow me, you know my space is always evolving. So this, these are the vessels that are on display right now. But I hate to admit that I have an entire storage unit full of other stuff, mind your business, that's my business. So the first vessel I have is, it's gonna be a vessel one day. It's for my matches. So you're like, Kiva, don't you have 50 million lighters? Yes, I do. But do I ever wanna find myself without matches? No. You need matches for safety, for security. And I just chose to make mine cute. So look how big they are. They are massive. It comes in this cute little glass vessel. Once this is devoid of matches, I'm going to give it a wash with some Dawn Power Wash and I'm going to put flowers in it. I might even put like a grain in it. I don't know what I'm gonna fill this with. Ooh, maybe a floating candle. The opportunities are really endless but I'm going to use this as soon as these matches are done, but it also comes with 50 million matches. So let's, let's pray that day number comes, but just look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I barely struck it. Look at that. <gasps> Amazing. And as we walk through today's video, you're gonna be like, Kiva, what's a vessel? A vessel, in my opinion, is anything that can hold something. So a vase, um, a bowl-ish, a tray with curved edges. Now we're not talking about like cutlery and stuff like that because this video would be way too damn long and YouTube would be like, Kiva, get off of here. We don't want you that much. The next vessel in my collection is this bowl that I believe is from Target. It sure is. It still has the sticker on it. I'm one of those people who never removes the stickers from their stuff and I don't care what you have to say about it. It. I'm not gonna stop it. I'll even put dishes in the sink with the stickers on it. I just like to live like that. But this was $25 from Target. I love the little pedestal feet. Look, I'll do this for you. Oh, and it wasn't even clean. Well, you guys asked for it, I delivered. So I think the feet are really nice and cute and that's kind of what sets it apart from other bowls. I love little pedestal bowls, but when the pedestal is just in the middle, I feel like it casts too much of a shadow. And when the feet aren't like fun in shape, I'm like, it looks like it belongs in the kitchen. So I like this. Sometimes I actually will use it in the kitchen for like Nespresso pods and things like that. But right now it just sits on my coffee table for my remote. And if you've seen any of my more recent videos, you've seen this already. This is a retro flower vase, or I don't know why it's called that. Not sure what's really retro about it. I think it was like $33. It gives me RH vibes, it gives me Pottery Barn vibes. It does look like an urn. And some people find urns to be like offensive, but I don't. I actually really like the shape of urn vases. It's nice and small, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy duty, but it's not too heavy as to where you can't throw it, which I don't know why that's like kind of a qualifier, but I got this because browns are trending big time right now. Browns and neutrals and stuff like this. And this is a way to like kind of incorporate the trend without like subscribing to it fully because I'm not buying a brand new brown sofa. I got this vase and this bench and I'm calling it a day, okay? I'm brown enough. I bring brown to the trend and you know, we're good to go. But I do really like this. It's a little bit smaller than you expect it to be online. Of course, you could just read the dimensions, but I like to be surprised when things show up at my home. So it's a little bit smaller than I thought, but I have moved this all throughout my house. I think for now, I really like it on the coffee table because it's low profile enough where you can still like watch TV and have florals in it and you not have to move it to be able to watch television, which is something you wanna think about when you're styling because if you can't actually live with the styling, there's no point in doing it. The next vessel I have is this tray from Walmart. I showed it in my Walmart haul video. Um, it's gonna be at my upcoming Walmart Pottery Barn dupes video. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But I actually really like this wooden tray. It just adds a little bit of earthiness to a space without like going over the top. Again, I don't want too much earthy. I love looking at the earth. I love being out in the earth, but the earth does not come indoor here. Um, so that's just not really my style. So I do like this. I think this was like $8, $12. It's by Dave and Jenny Mars. And I've said this once and I'll say it again. If Dave and Jenny Mars wanna be friends, I wanna be friends because they're mines. I love it, they come up with great stuff. So this is a great little vessel here. This is just good for like keys, something as you come right in the house. And if you need low profile decor, like I just said, um, for the coffee table, I like to keep my decor low profile. And of course, since I have like a parallel arrangement in my living room with the sofa on one side and um, chairs on the other side, I like to keep what sits on this table here low profile because I wanna be able to see the TV. Right now I'm watching Fire Country on Paramount Plus. 
incredible show, 10 out of 10 would recommend, um, and I need to be able to see it, so my vessel has to be left. This next vessel sits on my coffee table. No, it doesn't. I don't know why I lied to you. It sits on my dining table. I've had this for ages. I don't know where I got it from, but again, I leave the stickers on everything. And it doesn't tell me anything. Did I steal this? Who knows? No, it's probably from Home Goods. I love this hammered bowl. Anything that looks hammered, I'm like, give it to me. If it's hammered, I want it. It doesn't matter if you actually hammered it or if you just did it with paint or whatever. I just love the hammered look because I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the look of just like solid metal. It doesn't give to me what I need to give and that's okay. It's massive. Again, head comparison. It's huge. It's actually pretty heavy. I do want to set it down, but I'm not going to because I'm committed to the bit, but it is hammered. They spray painted it. The more I look at it, you can really tell that they, they, they're drips on it, but I think that's like for artistic effect. But this is great if you want to put fruit in it, you want to put vegetables in it, you want to put legumes in it, if you want to put flowers in it, succulents, whatever. I actually just have some candle sand in here and these fake pears I got from Dollar Tree. I don't know why I felt compelled to buy fake pears from Dollar Tree, but aren't they so realistic looking? I certainly think so. So I love this bowl. I think it packs a punch on its own. You don't have to add anything to it if you don't want to. The only downside to this bowl is it's so massive that you can't really use anything to like stand it up. You can't really put it on like coffee table books or something because the books are gonna look so itty bitty underneath, it's kind of sad. But great for a coffee table if you're trying to get like that RH look where they're like, ah, it's a bowl, this is it, this is me. This is perfect for that. This is especially good for like the second layer of a coffee table where like you don't know what to put down there. This is gonna be like a great anchor piece with like a little bit of moss, missed it, you're good to go. Also good for a dining table if you don't wanna do like, too much, you want it to be really easy to move, this is a great option. Before I had this bowl on my coffee table, I had this, which I was absolutely delusional about, but I don't regret buying it, it's just so heavy. I'm gonna grab it. Uh, and that is this vessel, my back. So this is from our house. I did buy it. I think it was like 200 bucks. I am sorry. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. I was even doing a collab with them. They offered to send it to me and I was like, no, I want it so badly that I'm gonna buy it. So this is, has to weigh like 75 pounds. This is the best planter ever. It's great because you can literally fit an entire faux tree in here. I mean, love the drama slay but you can also put like a few branches in here so that's what i did before um i'll show you that too because this vase is such a statement in and of itself because of the rustic elements and it's just like sheer size you don't have to do something massive like that faux tree i've even toyed with just putting like super long faux hydrangeas like these is, is that a spider no, I almost died. Something like these in here to pack a little bit of a punch, maybe a few more than just the two that I have. <gasps> Glorious, you could do something like this. You could even do like a nice skinny tree like this. So this is a rubber tree. And let me know down in the comments if you want me to tag these items as well, because these are also from Amazon. So nice and affordable. So you could even do something like this, like a faux, you could even do like a long stem or like something really small and quaint like this, like this faux rubber tree. Again, the vase itself just does too much. You don't need to go over the top with what you fill it with. What I will say though, is that because it's so massive, it's good on something that you put on the periphery. So a sideboard, um, like your kitchen cabinet, something where you don't see the back of it. The reason I had to take it off of my dining table is due to the fact that you couldn't see around it. On the coffee table even, you can't really see past it um, and you don't want something that heavy because you want to be able to appreciate an entire space. My next vessel is kind of controversial because you guys say it looks like a coffee filter. So I guess this is one for my coffee aficionados. But as I said before, this is like $70 at one store, $300 at another store. But just because something's expensive doesn't mean you need to buy it, right? Let's not get caught up in that. I really like this for keys. I actually also really like it as like a candle holder. This is not the right candle for what I'm talking about. But if you have a clear candle, I think it's a really nice pedestal, especially if you have a taper candle because the drippings can fall into this without like damaging your other stuff but i think she's a cute one it does also come in black which may decrease the coffee filterness feeling but i think it's a really really good option just for simple coffee table styling or bookcase styling because your bookcases are bare 
and I hate looking at it. First, put books on it, and then second, put decor on it like this that actually serves a purpose and hides some of your stuff. Now we're moving into the kitchen, and the next vessel I wanna show you is actually the one that I use for like my soap and all of that. So this is by Creative Co-op on Amazon, and it holds my sponge, so you can put your scrub daddy in there. I also use it to hold um, my, little sh sh um, my little straw cleaner, because I have like lots of reusable straws, so I put them in here. But this is a great little cat if you have like stale wool it can go in here um, I don't know I think it's cute it's a not novel way but it is a different way in my opinion to kind of store your soap that just like looks better because I'm not one of those people who's gonna put my sponge away if my sponge is away I'm not doing the dishes and I have to do the dishes so I think that this looks cute next we have this vase which is from <gasps> Oh, okay, didn't. I thought it scratched my countertop and I was gonna have a BF, but like at myself because it's my fault. But this is what I use for my cooking utensils. So this is from Home Goods, I believe. And I really like how tall it is. I hate when they're like really, really short kitchen utensil holders because I'm like, okay, what do I fit in there? It was $30. Its intended use is not for kitchen utensils, but I think it works really well. It's very, very dense. So even when I over fill this with utensils it stays nice and sturdy and I think it provides a really nice contrast to my countertops here so I think this is one of my favorite vessels I have and it's actually relatively and I do have a vessel on top of my kitchen cabinets as well. I believe this is also home goods fine. And this was dirt cheap. I think it was around $20. I think maybe they like mispriced it or something, but it's a nice jug style vase. Um, super heavy, very heavy duty, and it can hold heavy branches. So you can see I actually have faux fig branches in here. And I think they're like 50 inches long or something like that. So they're massive and quite heavy. And this sustains it super well. And it has a lot of texture, so very earthy and on trend, which I really love. The next few vessels actually are sitting in my dining area, but I'm doing a project there. I don't want you to see it yet, so be sure to smash that subscribe button and come back because that's going live soon. But this is a cute little bowl that I got from Zara. Really cute vessel. I think it's actually for eating. I'm not using it for that. I put these fake limes in it that I got from Dollar Tree, which honestly I think look pretty realistic except for when you can see the styrofoam. Um, but I really love this because it looks like gold leaf on the outside and then it's nice and shiny on the inside and then this other vessel is from Walmart I've talked about this before this is viral because it's only like $12 for the large size and like $9 for the small size um, I did chip mine I'm not gonna lie to you but it's actually pretty heavy I have both sizes and I've been very happy with the quality and again really nice and rustic and it can actually hold a plant I was going to say I hate but I actually don't hate vessels that can't actually hold plants because I don't plant anything but I hate for you you the idea of buying a vase or a planter or something that isn't like water safe or something like that. Now we're in my entryway and this next vessel I have is actually from Walmart and it's just like a nice ribbed fluted vessel. You can't ever have too many clear vessels. I think that's something people lack a lot and I think it's great for candles. It's great for like greenery that looks realistic. It's great for real greenery so that some light can still get it. Of course do I have faux greenery in here? Yes but I I'd like to have the option. Um, and this was like, I think $8 from Walmart. And I do have more vessels in this cabinet, as you can expect, given my line of work, I have a lot of vessels and therefore they can't always be on display. So the next vessel I want to share is actually this gold bowl, which is from Value City Furniture. Um, and it comes in a set of three and this is great. Uh, I use this for mail. I also put my keys in here, a lot of other entryway stuff and just miscellaneous items. I am one of those people who has bowls all throughout the home so that I can just throw crap in there because I don't wanna organize. And I do have two more vessels in this cabinet. First, I have this vessel. It's like a nice ceramic vessel that um, does have plants in it. So you're kind of married to the plants. This is going to my sister-in-law's house because she wanted the pottery yarn vibes and this is giving that. And then I also have this wooden one, which I think looks great with those faux tulips that I had earlier. Um, so I'm gonna put some more in here and put them in the bathroom when I finally finish renovating. And who knows when that will be. Let's vote down in the comments. When will Kiva finish the bathroom? She says I've been renovating for three years. By the time I actually do renovate it, I will have moved, but it's okay. At least the people who live here after me will have a 
nice, well thought out powder room. Now we're in the bedroom and the first vessel I wanna show you is actually the Umbria vase from our house. This is probably the vase I've had the absolute longest. It's super heavy. It comes in like three different sizes, though this one is my favorite because it's fat and it has these which really do it for me. I'm always putting something in here. This is actually probably my most used vase. And I think it's because it's a gray, but it's a warm gray. I hate cool gray. You're gonna be like, Kiva, aren't you about to show me a vase that's cool gray? I am, okay? I can have conflicting feelings about decor on the inside, but it's nice and tall, so it can fit a super nice stem, and it's a warm gray, so it doesn't wash you out. It doesn't feel too glam. It doesn't feel too 2012. I just said that as a number. I have no idea what I was even doing in 2012. In 2012, I was a, sophomore in high school, so I wasn't doing much, but I love this. I love the aged look, and I love that it gives you the aged look without you getting dirt all over yourself every time you pick it up, because stores will do that, obviously, to save money, but like, if I wanted to rub dirt on something, I'd rub it myself from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I'm not paying $70 for you to get your dirt all over me, miscellaneous dirt, where I don't know where it came from, so thank you very much. I'm very, very pleased with this, and our house actually has really nice vessels. They are pricey, but normally when you go into the store, they'll have like red tags on them and they'll be on sale for some random reason. And I'm gonna take it. I don't care what the reason is. I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna take advantage. The next vessel in my collection is this one, which is also from Creative Co-op. It is one of the great colors I just was talking smack about, but it does come in black now, which I love. This is so good. It is a statement in and of itself. It, like, it, it's like one of those things when you go to the eye doctor and they're like, look straight ahead and it stabilizes you, which I'm glad they do because I hate going to the eye doctor and I, I would be out of there if they weren't stabilizing me. But it's massive. It's not too heavy. And I actually like to put a light in here. Let me show you. Let's see if she's charged. Do you have juice? Oh, blinding me. So I just like to put a light in here and look at that subtle glow. And then even with flowers, it looks better. I don't have any flowers in here right now to show you, but I'm a huge fan of this. I've had this forever. This is one of my first like Amazon vase purchases before I got into Amazon home stuff. And I like her very, very much. This is something you don't need to style with anything else besides flowers. And I love that because it makes it easy for us. This is probably one of my most controversial vessels. And this is my breast vase. I paid a pretty penny for this and I don't regret it. So this normally holds Tums. So if you come over, you have indigestion. Where do you have indigestion in your chest? What's on your chest? Breasts. There you go. Mic drop. Anyway, no, I like this. Uh, I love anything that's like very figurative that has to do with the body and not just women's bodies because I like this. But I've also got this, right? Let, sculpture tour coming soon. But I love having little candy in here, mostly Tums, because everyone who comes to my house has GERD for some reason, and that's okay. That's fine. The only downside to this vase is it gets really dusty, and it's obviously really hard to dust in between these grooves, and YouTube, don't flag me for something inappropriate, because there's nothing inappropriate about the female body. Now this next one, is barely a vessel. I'm just making I'm just making it up at this point. I'm calling this a vessel because it has a slight lip. <laughs> this is a gold tray from our house. Our house has the best hammered trays on the market. Uh, this was $49. It's the Lotus 12.5 inch platter, $49. Um, I love just putting like one of those ropes on here and calling it a day. Good for moats, other things like that. Um, but it is a vessel because of the curved lip, but otherwise this is, this is really just a glorified tray and I'm gaslighting myself. Now we're in the bathroom and there's only one vessel in here and this is this hand vase. So this is also Jonathan Adler. So the same person who made the boob vase, but I like to use this for my toothbrush. I don't know, it makes teeth brushing fun. You know when you like have kids and you're like, here's this bubblegum toothpaste. Isn't this so freaking fun? I'm like, look, it's a hand. Isn't it so fun brushing your teeth? You gotta do what you gotta do to put dental hygiene first. Now let's talk about my most popular vase, which is the Prium vase from Crate and Barrel. I don't believe they sell this anymore. It's from the Leanne Ford collection. I get asked about this 50 million times a day. People are like, can I buy this off of you? I'll give you my firstborn child. I am not rumble still skin. I don't want your firstborn child. You also can't have my vase. I'm so sorry, but ah, ah, she's cute, she's beauty, and she's grace, she's Miss United States. Was this even made in the United States? 
it wasn't. <laughs> but anyway, so good. I love this. It will complete any styling super, super well. And again, it just makes a statement on its own. And I think it was around like 70 bucks or something like that, which is not outrageous for Crate and Barrel. Okay, you guys, that is it for today's video. That was a full tour of my vase collection in my home right now. I hope that you enjoyed touring my vases and my vessels and seeing how I style them all throughout my space. Some of them have interesting backgrounds and some of them, they look cute, so I bought it. And that's just how it goes. Be sure again to let me know down in the comments if you want a full tour of my vase collection because I have even more of my storage unit and we can run over there. And let me know if you want to see my entire bedding collection, my entire lighting collection. I've got a lot of collections. Your girl's gonna have Chanel, but she does have home goods. Okay, thank you so much for watching today's video and until next time, have a beautiful day.